Good morning. It's Monday, so it's time for a book talk. I read a public library book on my Kindle, and I read a galley, which is a book that has been gifted to me from an author or publishing house so that I will write nice reviews about it. I don't always write nice reviews. Sometimes I don't like the books, but oftentimes I do. So first of all, the library book I read, The Last Garden in England. So this is a multiple point of view, multiple timeline book. 1907, 1944, 2021. There are three sets of women in each. There's women in each of the three timelines. And the first one is the gardener who creates this elaborate English garden at this large house. And in the second timeline, it's World War II, 1944 in England, obviously. And they are using the house as a hospital. And in 2021, they're trying to recreate the original garden that the lady in 1907 designed. I always love multiple timeline point of views. I love strong female characters. I like a little bit of mystery in there. It was great. I really actually loved it. It was a great book. We don't have an art collection that's in the public library, but if you're interested, I can show you how to check it out. But if you're interested in other books with multiple timelines and multiple point of views, we have those, and I can talk to you about those. The other book I read on my Kindle was Upside Down in a Laura Ingalls Town. If you know anything about Little House on the Prairie, you know they were pioneers out in the Midwest back in the day. We had to build your own house before you could sleep in it. You had to grow and kill all your own food. This book is actually set in modern day and they're doing a television show. You know, one of those sort of documentary kind of things where they put people back in time so they have to learn how to live as if you were Laura Ingalls Wilder. And of course the teenager in this book is not about it. <laughs> She's like, mm, that's a hard no. But as to be expected, it grows on her. She is amazed by her strength and her resilience and the other people she meets in town. It was really good. It was actually surprisingly good. And so we may get it for the library collection here. If anyone's interested, come talk to us and we will definitely get it. All right, I'm on book four of the Bridgertons. This is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, where uh, Penelope and Colin get together. You know it's going to happen from like book one. You just, you just know. So it wasn't as exciting, but I did enjoy Penelope as a character. She is great. The Perfect Ten. So this is a story about a high school boy who is looking for a boyfriend because he had one freshman and sophomore year and they broke up. They're still friends. But they're not a couple anymore, and he'd like to be in a couple. It, he misses it. And so his friend, who is a practicing Wiccan, decides that she can maybe write a love spell for him. And they go to a local cemetery and perform this love spell. And lo and behold, would you not know that they're actually cute gay guys popping out of the woodwork in town after the love spell it's very cute and it's very funny and i was very concerned at one point that he would end up with a guy i did not want him to end up with but no he did not so i actually really did like it it is part of our library collection it's not processed yet but it'll be on the shelf very quickly another book from our library collection when this one is processed already is wild cards by simone elkles we have her Perfect Chemistry series, and if you liked that, you will like this. So this young girl is on the football team. She's a kicker, and she would like to be a D1 kicker. But of course, being female and getting on a big school like Alabama, Georgia, I mean UT, Michigan, any of the big schools, it would be hard to be the lone female on the team. You know, Vanderbilt's kicker notwithstanding, it's pretty rare. And so this book is about her quest and then the new guy in town. Because it's a Simone Eggles book, it's a romance, it's really great. It is book one, we, Miss Sweetly just ordered book two and so lay your hands on it pretty quickly too. If you guys wanna read anything I talked about, you can come check them out, you can come talk to me about books. Hope you guys have a good week.